Uh, the vibe's been good. You know, I think uh, there's a lot of great things to take away from the game, and obviously areas that we need to continue to improve on. But I thought we worked our way into the game in the second half and kind of dictated the game. And, and that's, again, there's going to be moments like that in St. Louis where we're going to be under a little bit. But I'd like to see us get to that point of comfort, point of belief with the ball a lot earlier. And uh, it, it won't be a, an easy feat, but I think one that the quicker that we can do that, the more we'll grow into the game. Obviously a great result and our only other visit there last year. Does that play into kind of just good mem muscle memory for the group? I think so. You know, I think uh, if you've done it once, you can do it again. I think that's a big part of it, the psychology. But again, uh, a team that, you know, won the West last year and got to be really respectful of the fact of, of what they've been able to achieve, just won another game against a good Houston side. So uh, there's going to be moments where we got to challenge ourselves mentally and be able to overcome some of the difficulties that the game's going to pose. But 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 after that, I think it's it, those feelings make uh, you know the feat achievable. So Crooks is back. Um, obviously, there's several other guys that missed big chunks of preseason. So fitness, sharpness, and just cohesion are things that we're going to be dealing with for a little bit. But how are you feeling about that process? Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. You know, it's again. Um, expectations are, are what lead to, ex to disappointments and, and, and for me um, is having a good understanding of where they're at physically, uh, where they're at as far as how long they join the team and, and what that process looks like. You know, so I think we're, you know, a few games will, will be needed to have that cohesion that usually you get in the preseason. Um, but with their absences, we got to deal with real life and, and make sure that uh, the guys that step on the field are ready to go in, 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 in lieu of those guys joining the group. Are you ever surprised by the depth of this group and all the options that you have all over the field? No, uh, you know, I think um, we've been able to build a really good roster of, of people first and guys that are committed uh, to really improving their craft. And, and I think uh, once you feel as a player or a coach that you're the final product, there's no growth in that. And I think for this group, uh, we're always learning, we're always challenging ourselves, and we're creating an environment where everyone can thrive. And when you have that, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great uh, opportunity to give younger players opportunities and have them step up because everyone's treated the same here. Uh, you, you just mentioned younger players, obviously Barajas with his MLS debut, Noel Kaliskin with his RSL debut. Those are two names that very few of our fans knew you know, two months ago. Um, so I guess how are they kind of emblematic of that process and that depth and that roster building you've talked about? Yeah, no, I think, you know, the, you know, the club mission statement being uh, winning together through development is, is really important for us. Um, but, but again, I think development requires 100% from, from the player. And, and I think those two players have really stood out in preseason and in, in game situations. Um, and so it's not handouts. These guys had to earn it. And I think Barajas and, and Noel have both earned the opportunity to get their their first nod with the group at the weekend. Awesome.